Um, last game, I was really disappointed with myself. I got out on 25. Uh, wanted to win the game for the team, but uh, you know that's how cricket goes sometimes. Um, I knew if I'd batted till 40, 45 runs, we could have pulled that game out of trouble, and uh, you know we could have won that one as well. But uh, it doesn't happen every time. I was really disappointed. I went back to the room. I thought about what needs to be done, and then um, you know went about things uh, in this game from a similar situation, 20 for three. Uh, chasing, you know, a big score uh, in 18 overs uh, against Pakistan bowling attack. I think it just improves you as a cricketer, and I look forward to challenges like these. Well, it's very important to assess the field and uh, you know how much ball is turning or gripping from the surface, and accordingly you pick out bowlers where they're trying to bowl. You get try and get into the head of a bowler, and uh, you know try and make him bowl where you want him to bowl. I think that's key. Uh, that's where intent counts. If you're showing the bowler that you're coming towards him, I think it's a it's a different mindset for him than. Uh, rather than uh, you know making him feel that you're guessing what's going to happen, so I think it's just that sort of mindset that I take in uh, that helps me uh, sort of be on top in those pressure situations. It's coming out nicely at the moment. I just like to keep things simple and probably continue the same. I told myself uh, in the change room as well that I'm going to back myself to pick good cricketing shots, and you know that's what we learn since we are small kids. So no, uh, no uh, good reason why you can't go and execute you know cricket shots. It's at the end of the day, you're playing cricket. You're not know, trying to slog the ball. So I was confident, you know, that I need to play with a straight bat so the strike keeps rotating. And that, that was my main aim and it didn't change because I didn't, I didn't go in with a different mindset. I went in with the same mindset which I think uh, for me works in every situation and I remained pretty calm. Uh, luckily my heart rate was low uh, when we lost three wickets. It could have shot up, you know, big game, full stadium, uh, Eden Gardens, uh, 95,000 people. So I'm just grateful uh, I was able to do it. Well, I can't express the feeling. Uh, my brother is here as well. Um, plus, uh, you know, Sachin Paji up there in the stands. It's, you know, I've seen him do that uh, for India and how people shout for him. Uh, I've gotten a chance to do it in front of him and, you know, he's celebrating. Uh, I can't explain that feeling as a youngster who's grown up uh, playing cricket because of him. To be able to do it in front of him and give him happiness, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm very uh, grateful for it and it's a very emotional moment. Well, absolutely. I mean, you have to stay positive no matter what. Um, that's the name of the game in international cricket, you know, there's, there's nothing you can do about um, a bad loss, but what you have to do is learn from it and come out positive and, and make sure that, you know, when you're sitting in the room, you want to be the guy that want to, wants to make the difference uh, in the game, who wants to win the game uh, for the team, you know, single-handedly. I think it's, if all 11 guys can think like that, yeah, the team is in a good space and, uh, you know, I, I think this is a perfect catalyst for us going forward into the tournament.